Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Swaro Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can download and install Ubuntu 24.04 on a VMware. So let's start this video. At the very first level, you need to go at this website. It's called ubuntu.com and there you need to download the ISO file. So let me open my web browser and then I'll do this. Ha, it's working slow. Okay, so just need to write ubuntu.com and desktop backslash desktop. And there you can download the uh, Ubuntu ISO file. So there you can see it's 24.04 LTS. LTS is uh, actually the long term support system. And there you can download the LTS and it takes 6 GB. And uh, the system requirement, you can read more about what's new, the system requirement, how to install, and you can check other alternative downloads like old, I mean, the uh, prior versions or BitTorrent versions, like it's 24.04, and another LTS is 22.04. So you can have both of them. I mean, whatever you need. <laughs> so and the, the other images and mirror also available as per your country you can see the past release anyhow so back to desktop and there you need to download this so i have already downloaded this and you can subscribe the newsletter of ubuntu but start downloading here. You can see this. So it's already available with me. And it might take a long time to have this. So the next thing is to make and to install this, you just need to open the VMware or you can use the Oracle uh, virtual box. Both are the same things. Uh, Oracle VirtualBox uh, is actually a free version and you can have this uh, without any license. Uh, whereas uh, VM Workstation is a licensed one. So I have 15.5 Pro. So there we can create a new virtual machine. And uh, we can use the typical, but here I'm going to use the advanced one. And you need to select all these things as it is. So workstation 15, uh, I'm using workstation 15 point. And you can select the mirror that we have downloaded here. Let me show you. It's 24.04 ISO file and the And then next, and there you can create the name like next. You can select the processor, for example, four processor. Next, you can allocate the hard disk. I have eight GB of hard disk, so I just allocate uh, six GB here. and the better idea is not do not use a network connection Select a disk type, so we will go with the recommended one. Create a new virtual machine, use an existing virtual disk, use a physical disk. So we will create a new virtual machine, I mean virtual disk. And you can allot the size, for example, 60 GB. And split virtual disk into multiple files. 
there you can provide the name i just go with the default name and you can custom the hardware and processor usb control we will go to sound card printer make sure uh, it's accurate 3d graphics and uh, you can actually use graphic memory for example 1 gb and close this and now finish and let's start the virtual disk so it will power on select the first option try or install ubuntu so we will go to install the ubuntu Okay, here I would select English as a language and then reduce animation. So I would reduce the animation in seeing and hearing, typing. So you can select according to your whatever you need or you don't need. Okay, I'll go with next. and here i select the english us as the keyboard layout because english us i mean english uk not us because uh, there's some error with with this keyboard layout i have tried several times to install with us layout but it's failed so i just go with the english uk and uh, and the next so we are not connected with the internet right now, but later on we will connect with the internet. Install Ubuntu. Interactive installation. Default selection. And we are not going to install the third party software or graphics or for graphics and Wi-Fi. And the next. So it's actually optimizing our, our computer, I mean the virtual machine here. On back, I'm using Windows 10, 10 Pro, and here's the VM.
So there we can erase our disk that we have created virtually or if you intended to install on a system then you can create partition okay so whatever the name you can assign here let's see uh i use my name here and the password would be anything you can assign the password And then next. So you can provide the location. For example, I am in Karachi, Asia right now. Okay. So here we are going to, we are ready to install the system. And let us install it might take few time to install and as far as it's complete the installation i'll just uh let you know <laughs>
and uh, you can enable ubuntu pro but we skip for now and 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 share system data with the ubuntu team next and you can browse all apps here finish now we have complete the installation and uh, we will try to install the goha or d space on the same system and uh, but this is how we can install the ubuntu it's quite easy and effective so i hope you like the video please keep watching raflims and subscribe now and of course like this video and share thank you very much for watching raflims this is for the percent